don't rest well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you break your meditation because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... well... blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now, too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better, please. A strange sensation courses through you and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Ah, of course. Why not, eh? I shall be gentle as a babe. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Wow, we actually got a dance for a change. Hmm? Oh, of course. That... That was... amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel... happy. shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Just a nibble. Doggo! Good morning. How do you feel? Be grateful I'm not a true vampire, then. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. 
like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh, I've no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders. Until the crash, when I woke up bathed in its light. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. So we're traveling with a vampire, are we? Of course we are. Word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. For his sake, he best not develop an appetite for Githyanki. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Ooh, friend. That's for the English people around here. Maybe some Americans as well, I don't know. work to do. Looking ahead. A couple turns should do it. Yeah, then.
that then I wanted that one for my build so I can knock that off the list scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door then a low moan someone or something is having a bit of fun Go away! leave it whoever's inside doesn't want an audience and i don't want to fight an ogre you notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough leathery meat The dagger is tightly embedded in the carcass. You notice nothing unusual. Strained by your clumsy technique, the blade snaps in two.
Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course. Oh, come on! I expect more than your word. Show me your flesh. Finally. Yes, yes. The mark is unmistakable. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food? Not food. Friend. I've no use for the absolute. Or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Really a 20. Not a chance. A slip of the tongue. You meant to make a better offer, surely. Follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. Alas, not 
so much as a nibble. Food? No, not food. Curious. Go on, more of us inside. Just want... Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Stop this. We... We won't ask again. Careful! Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the Hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hug has Rena. It's our sister, Marina. She's... 
Well, she was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel... Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on! Chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Avoid that trap. Blood everywhere. Someone wasn't as fortunate in their choice of campsite as us. Something over there. These two won't be helping their sister, or doing anything else for that matter. Be ready, whoever. 
or whatever did this could be close. Diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. That noise is the creature pretending to be a sheep. You seize me, nosy scum sucking lice reading little ball bag. Get out. Or I buy its tongue. Eats tongue. Delicious tongue. Oh, precious baby. Loves to bleed you. Yes, turn your corpse into sponge. Lots of holes. Yes. Leave. Now. Or I'll fill you with holes. And more. <laughs> Its entire body shakes. It ribbits erratically as if in pain. Eyes away, croaking a warning, eyes wide in terror. to meet your maker. My faith will guide me. Take your heal. Still breathing, despite everything.
I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Aunt Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. I don't think I did, dearie. And frankly, you're thick for saying so. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. You know what that sounds like to me? Leverage. What is it? What's going on? That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. Away with you. Blessed silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you, you'll regret sticking your nose in my business. Still on my feet. Let's be on my way.
Enjoy playing with your new friends. Bye bye. We've got Auntie on the run. But I'm sure she still has a few tricks up her sleeve. Almost. easy these days. So I killed them both, but I still was attacking them. I don't get that. Ah, that's how the fuck they are.
victory awaits. Make way. Pawn to cleric four. Another step forward. Time to waste. Night to King Five. I can't even catch my breath. Breathe deep and move. Well, considering I tried to fight on TF4 in the previous playthrough and it didn't go well, I'm not trying it just yet. Welcome, rest. If I don't get my beauty sleep soon, I may just get a tad malcontent.
do I even get over there? Oh yeah, the jump one. One down. Right, so take out the fine dudes first. Oh, sweet, it kills them all. Winner.
Right, that was all them. March up to the double attack. Or oh, hopefully I can move just enough out the way if I could even move. Waste a step. You've made a grave mistake. It just said I could make it. Nice. Dump my tata. Oh, for God's sake. Please, yes.
Meet sorcery. When are we? Please, I'll get out of the fire, will you? This looks like the tree mentioned in the previous note. I think if I'm going to go confront Kagda, whatever her name is, I need to heal up properly, so... Long vest it is.
Need something? Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now... I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Maybe. But there won't be any more midnight surprises. I can promise you that. What's on your mind? We all have our burdens, one way or the other. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Lost in thought. Is that blood? No, never mind.
Oh. My, you startled me. I, uh... It's miles away. No, no, she's no one, really. I was just practicing an incantation. describe it the need I sometimes feel to see her to draw the filaments of fantasy into existence no sculpture or painting could ever do her justice only the fabric that she herself is and embodies the weave Mistra is all magic as far as I'm concerned she is all creation magic is my life. I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Would you like to experience this? Then follow my lead. Now you. feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Mistra Ril Kantrak Eo. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. You see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman, the woman who hovered over Gail's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it. You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? That it does. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire 
and Gale will know it. I... I didn't think. You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment, trepidation, and finally, elation. Sorry, I wasn't expecting... But it is a pleasant image, to be sure. Most pleasant, in fact. Most welcome. The weave evaporates. And as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh, there it goes. How easily things slip away from us, no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Right, I'm going to attempt to steal that um, idol now with darkness, I reckon that might work, but you know, if it fails, I may have to reload and stuff like that, so it should be fun. <laughs> ring, ring. I have heard a tip of going straight to camp once you steal it and then once you come back it's fine, so I'm going to give that a go. I've done that bit. Hey, we all wait. Do I have it in my inventory anywhere? I don't know what it looks like, so.
Well, it's not there by sorting by weightiest. Let's go back to see what happens, eh? I want to say that's where I just saved because that was ages ago. Oh, I didn't save beforehand. So I don't have to go straight into there. Do it this way. Might work. Seems good to me. Assume you right there should have picked it up as. The road to Baldur's Gate is a long one. Who knows how long it'll take this to get there on foot. If they make it, they're slow. Vulnerable. Half or more will die long before Basilisk Gate. Doesn't seem to trouble you a jot. What good would it do for me to be troubled? We can't save them all. Where's Mo? I had a feeling you'd be back. You've been a friend to us. I'm guessing it didn't work. Come huh? back anytime. We'll just do a quick save here just in case. Right, let's try this again.
There we go. It wait. So now go back in this way and hopefully it's fine. I'm mainly doing this for the ring of protection, by the way, just because I want that as the... Well, I'm looking at a build for Monk, and that's one of the things I need. Well, it's no longer there. I had a feeling you'd be back. Thanks. See you in Baldur's Gate, I hope. Now scram. Before I get emotional. When a ring of protection. Now let's go and confront Magda about the Shadow Druids and uh, see how that goes. Once again, <laughs> save just before, just in case I'm a bit under leveled. I'm going completely the wrong way. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. They may die on the road. They will die if they stay. A clear choice, I would say. Well, it's only three of them, so should be okay, hopefully. That damn nose of yours has gone poking in our business. Mistress Ollerton, I can explain. Shh, shh. No need. It couldn't be helped. Quagga, what is the meaning of this? You think yourself quite the spy, don't you? Go on, 
Tell him. What's in the cloak word? Korga, have you lost your mind? Halsin is weak, Wrath. But in the shadows, we are strong. We are safe. There is no other way. You and Halsin welcome untouchables to your midst. You defile the grove for the sake of harmony. Oladon speaks truth. Who among you disagrees? Who would see this grove in ruin? The choice is made. Koga, burn the tainted away. Start with the snitch. As you say, Oladon. Well, you know what my rolls are like? I'm not getting a 15. Told you. The shadows don't corrupt us. They cleanse Also, us. I forgot to say beforehand as well. Strike. We take this grove for the shadows. I don't want to get more group turn in mind. Because I could have used that um, cleave move with Razor. One down. Nice. I might be sure with this one and heal up Gale at the same time. Yeah, should do more than seven, hopefully. So we. If the girl survives, <laughs> oh, it's due to that as well. Wait, is Green Dude on my side or not? I'd assume so. Yeah. Why'd he hold me? Uh. 
one more tap. Why not, eh? <laughs> well, that's why not. First of all, heal up a little bit. Then maybe some magic missile. <laughs> One HP, sure. Another fight. Let's go. I just want to see. If keeping whatever name is alive works, so I'll defeat him first. The oh, I'm just the one there still. But it didn't end things, so I'm assuming. Should I heal just in case? Yeah, why not? So I can just go and properly heal after this, I think. Just give him a little bit of health again. Oh, he should finish her off? No, so of course he missed. Sorted. Open up. To the ways of Shadow. That's name, Korge. Her corruption ran so deep. Yet for her to die like this, under the Tree Father's gaze, perhaps it is justice. If only justice soothed my heart. A grove drenched in blood is no sanctuary at all. He wants to jump, wants to bite. His eyes dart back and forth as he sniffs the air. He can't see them anymore, but he can smell them. Many, many strangers. The wolf bears his teeth. He doesn't take orders from you. He'll chase you down if not for his master. Oh, is that a chest? I think you need to sell some items as well, because, yeah, it's going to be fun.
Actually, I should be able to pass these off to what people to for now. Then that's fine. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Oh, of course not. Next. Oh, damn, I'm putting stuff on which I shouldn't be, I don't think. I think I'm just going to go fill my stuff soon and just put armor on, maybe, when I get back to camp. I've also forgot a weapon she should have now. Was it? I think it was that. It is now. There we go. Let's move. You're testing my patience, Nick. So is that just done now? I don't have to do anything else.
Yes, which is Dawn. Unless it's because of that. Yeah. Okay, I'm guessing I have to do both. Yeah, because Kag did. Whatever, I can't remember the name. She's dead. Oh, I've still got that too, so I'm assuming. I've got to do that as well, which is fine. Okay, I'm going to go back to. I've got pusher talk, and I know that just cut out. I'm going, I'm going to go back to camp level up, get everyone healed, and then see if there's any more story progressions to do. Sounds like a plan. I also think I'm going to do all my weapon equipping and selling maybe just off camera after just because it's probably going to be a little bit boring to put into here. What to do? Oh. Well, I do into video and also on stream. So, yeah, that'd be a little bit boring. Right, so my guy says to pick athletes, so that's what I'll do, I think. And also put my points into dexterity. Sweet. That and Shadow Heart for level four. I need that one, Tomotoguri, whatever that weird is. <laughs> sure. So I go with ability improvement and then put them both into wisdom. And now I take spiritual weapon. Whatever that is. That one. Oh wait, no what? Oh no, that's me just learning two new spells. I don't know what I just took off. I'm going to have to watch your video back see what I took off there. And apparently that's the other one I just learnt as well. Oh. It's that one. I'm, did it just replace it? I really don't know anymore.
Aha, uh -huh. it was inflict wounds. Just went to the level before and it says which ones to have on there. It doesn't say whether to have any of these ones on, but that's one. Yeah, it doesn't say whether to have any of these ones on, but sure I'll give them a go at some point. Okay, just say I have money at the next level, but I'm guessing I have more prepared slots, so I think that might be why. Although it has given me the extra one here, and your rooms isn't on there. Yeah, it's not on the previous or the next one, so let's see what I go for. I might go for a damage one to be honest with you. Yeah, I think I'll go out for now, give it a try. If I don't like it, I can always try the other one. So I know this one definitely was in the next um spell thingy magic. To be fair, we both are, so yeah. I'll go with something now and see how it goes. Right, so Gale's country for level four is Okay, it says I can pretty much select whatever I want, but in terms of melee damage, it says go with Blade Ward. So it negates it up by up to 50% or something along the lines. Ah, with two tunes. Yeah, why not? I'll go with that. So now I need Hold Person and Cloud of Daggers. That one. And that one. And for my feet, I do the ability improvement and put them both into intelligence. And apparently because I've done it that way, I've, it gives me two more bad uh, spells, which is pretty cool. And apparently, I don't need Witch Bolt anymore. So, 
So, which one am I missing? Ah, oh, that one. Cool. Once again, it's ability improvement, and these ones going to strength. All's well, I hope, aside from the obvious. This again. You're persistent. I'll give you that. Let's give it a go. Yeah, I've got no chance. Like I told you before. You'll know if I have anything to tell you. Fine. What's on your mind? Well, hello. What can I do for you? My sweet, there is nothing I'd like more. I'll come to you tonight, when you're snugly wrapped in your bedroll, and we can have a little privacy. And this time, I'll make sure I'm quiet. We don't want to disturb your rest. Later on, when we are at rest, I will eat you right up. Just enough to give me strength, and just enough to leave you wishing for more. Speak. Tell me, what can I do for you? Oh, I was surprised, but pleasantly so, just like I said, amid the madness that has befallen us. It seems almost out of place to think of a kiss. And yet, now more than ever, it's important to recall what makes us human. Well, you know what I mean. A stolen glance, that sudden heartbeat. Sometimes the little things are worth more than kingdoms. They promise things to come. I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong, you did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Yet it is life's most worthy pursuit in my impartial, if not humble opinion. Always a delight to speak with you. No one's got what the exclamation mark, so... Speak. Need something? Oh, 
almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. Oh, nothing for nothing. 